Dear American Christian, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is not an American. He was not born in a bustling liberal city nor a rural conservative town. He is not Western. He did not ask the blind man for his insurance card before opening his eyes. He did not think of Smith and Wesson when he said, blessed are the peacemakers. He did not feed the 5,000 with McChickens and Happy Meals, dear American Christian. Patriotism. Dear American Christian, <laughs> Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is not an American. He was not born in a bustling liberal city nor a rural conservative town. He was not Western. He did not ask the blind man for an insurance card before opening his eyes. He did not think of Smith and Wesson when he said, blessed are the peacemakers. He did not feed the 5,000 with McChickens and Happy Meals. Dear American Christian, patriotism is not a fruit of the spirit, nor is racism, nor is xenophobia, nor it's hashtag all lives matter. As a matter of fact, if Jesus Christ were to roll all up in this piece with his long bearded Middle Eastern glory, how many of us would clutch our loved ones tighter? Search his glorious gifts for explosives. Find the nearest exit. Dear American Christian, John 3.16 does not say make America great again, nor, nor America first, nor build that wall. Do you not recall that when Jesus gave up the ghost, his spirit tore a temple veil in half from top to bottom? He's a God of breaking down barriers, not reinforcing them. Dear American Christian, the Bible does not say to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength and all your mind and to only love of those who look like you or love like you. When Jesus showed love to the Samaritan woman, he showed that you can love without agenda. You can love outside of gender. You can love outside of race. The Bible does not say that they will know that we are Christians by our self-righteousness, by our fancy Sunday morning church hats and side eyes. Dear American Christian, Jesus Christ did not use Garnier Nutris nor Pantene Pro-V. He he did not have he did not have the kind of hair that glistens gold in the sunlight he did not have clouds in his skin nor oceans in his eyes no he was a man skin of brown hair of lamb's wool he was a man unlawfully killed unceremoniously buried does that sound familiar saints can you hear the fall of a guiltless man? Can you hear the mobs screaming out, half saying crucify him, the other half begging for his life to matter? Do the cries of the innocent haunt our prayers? Yet tell me, dear American Christian, if Jesus Christ were to die today, which side of the riot would you be on? <laughs> 